Hello, hello, welcome back. It is Dana. We are doing the first of our book to screen movies. The Summer I Turned Pretty has completed for the time being, so we are replacing it with um, Panic on Amazon Prime. However, we were equally tied with both Panic and random various YA movies. Now, I'm not entirely sure that this qualifies as YA, but in my brain it qualifies as YA. Maybe it's new, um, new, what is it called? New, new A, N-A, new, whatever. Um, whatever that one is, it's between YA and adult. There's like a new one. It's called new, I think, something. New, new adult. I think it's new adult. Um, maybe it's that, but in my brain this qualifies as YA. So this is Red, White, and Royal Blue. And I read this book a couple of years ago, so my memory is not that great. But I do remember reading it and absolutely falling in love with the romance of this story. Now, when I read it, I had been, it was a time in my life where I was reading like an insane amount of fanfic. And it read to me like fanfic. So it was such a specific time period to me. Um where that's really what I was into. Now, I don't want that probably makes it sound like it was a badly written book because when people hear fanfic, they tend to think not good writing, which is completely, some is true, sure, but some regular books are trash too. But, um, but it did read to me very much like fanfic, which is sort of like a lot of like wish fulfillment and a lot of, um, like romance that you probably don't get in real life. Um, and I'm curious to see how this translates to screen. I have not seen the preview for it. I haven't seen any, you know, trailers for it. I just saw, you know, now on Amazon, our adaptation of this movie. So that is what we are doing right now. So this is the first. My plan is to do two other ones, two other movies of book-to-screen adaptations. So three in a row, and then the Panic series, and then at least another three. And then at that point, I think we will revisit and see what we want to do after that. So the next, you know, little bit of time has now been accounted for. Um, this will probably only come out once a week. My plan is to do this on Fridays. So every Friday, we will be getting a book-to-screen adaptation on Patreon, and then it'll go Wednesdays onto YouTube in the future whenever we finish The Summer I Turned Pretty over there, um, which is probably another month maybe or so. So, but right here... We're here now, so hopefully it is as good as the book, and hopefully it gives me those warm, fuzzy feelings, and I'm wearing my warm, fuzzy fleece shirt, um, and it's one of my favorites. It's so com comfortable and soft, so I'm hoping that this is absolutely delightful. That's what I'm going for, so let's jump in and see what we have. Here we go. This is Red, White, and Royal Blue. Let's do it. And I think this movie is like two hours, which is a lot for me. Um, I generally try to keep my movies to like an hour and a half at most because I don't like to sit still for that long. <laughs> but we're going to do it. And it's pretty early in the day. It's only about 11 o'clock in the morning, so... And when this ends, I'm 100% eating pizza, just so we're all aware. It was a storybook ceremony today inside Westminster Abbey, where the oh, that's came nice. to cheer the couple and to cheer the prince's younger brother, Prince Henry, known affectionately as Prince of England's Hearts, and their younger sister, Princess Beatrice, whom all the world adores, including Alex Claremont Diaz, the charismatic son of the American president. Uh -huh. Also representing Mr. Claremont Diaz is often referred to as the American Prince Henry. <laughs> well, why don't we skip the party tonight and go do touristy things instead? No. Yes. Are you crazy? I want to see Buckingham Palace, don't you? Mm. I mean, okay, you've been yucking my yum all day. What's going on with you? 
You have been yucking my yum. I've never heard that, but I might use it in the future. He spent his entire life attending fancy events like this. Uh -huh. He was trained for this. Can you eat me alive? You're American. They expect us to be stupid. Just remember you're handsome and charming and everyone loves you. <laughs> yeah, not if you drink your champagne like that, they won't. When the revolution happens, I mean, because of this wedding. Oh, shut up, Henry. It's just a cake. The cake alone costs 75,000 pounds. Oh, my God. You're not going to want to eat Prince Henry. It is so yummy. No. He's such a snob. He's yummy. Oh, the other guy, not so yummy. But I like dark hair. Slug and entitled. He's a prince, Alex. And dark He's eyes. Oh, you know what is? Is how attractive the president's son is. Mm -hmm. Have you? He's very animated. He's the most <laughs> rudest person. He's the world's most irritating person. <laughs> also, I swear that he is not six two. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> $75,000 for a cake. My entire wedding was probably less than half the cost of that cake. Probably way less than half the cost of that cake. But that was like 20 years ago, so. <clears throat> oh, thank you. I'm sure he, she, they can just pour you another drink. Don't worry about it. Ugh. Uh, but this is why people think Americans are rude. Look at what we're doing. Well, I guess after you've had that much to drink. Oh. Alex, killer wedding. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Oh. Okay, there's no way that happened from touching the cake. We are the same height. You say so, Alex. <laughs> Great to see you. You too, your majesty. Actually, it's your royal highness. Your majesty's reserved for the king. Oh, thank you for the etiquette lesson. Do you know what? Oh, no! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, Jesus. Just, why don't you walk out of the room? Walk out! Go to the bathroom! Maybe also get away from the cake. That's probably a good idea. No! Oh! <laughs> oh! Henry! not Henry's fault. <laughs> However, you know, I tried to read another novel by the same author, something about a subway or something, I forget, and I it's only think I finished it. I didn't like it as much as this one. As I sit here and like bop along to this song, I'm thinking about how tired I am of it being in movies. <laughs> <laughs> Not that'll stop me from enjoying it, but I feel like it's in every movie. Yeah, you've done some pretty stupid things in your day, but this takes the cake. Huh? You hear that? I sent you to London with some pretty simple instructions. Represent the family at the royal wedding and don't cause an international incident. Well, Henry shoved me an urge I currently share with the prince. <laughs> we spent the last three years. before this weekend. I had a higher approval rating than the prime minister. But now? I was out polling the Spice Girls. And overnight, you... And it certainly costs a pool over our negotiations. I'm on the ballot again in 14 months. And I need the first... I'd argue that you don't actually need the Midwest. There's a path to re-election without that you don't want to hear from me today. <laughs> what I need <laughs> is some good old-fashioned damage control. <laughs> Zara will explain everything. I'm really sorry, Mom. I know you are, baby. That's why I need you to fix it. Mm, you're not gonna like the solution. <laughs> you're flying back to London 
tonight. What? To Damage control? That you've done? You and Prince Henry are in fact close personal friends and have been for the last several years. Sora. This is a fact sheet. Mm -hmm. Prince Henry, memorize it. He's not six foot two. Is he a fact sheet on me? Yes. Yes. And I can assure you that making it was one of the most depressing moments of my career. Mm -hmm. and Poor Zara. And I'm so much eating a banana. Can I just point oh. out that the royal family <laughs> so are sorry for you. They serve you oh, are going there to work. No hookups, no partying. You can hate Prince Henry all you want, but the minute you see a camera, you better act like the sun shines out of his ass and you have a vitamin D deficiency. No. Just go. What if I set myself on fire? We ship the ashes to Heathrow. Okay, so if I remember correctly, and I very well might not, this is pretty much how the book started. Do you want to switch jobs this weekend? No one in their right mind would ever give you a gun. Like, Henry's father, go. The What's the name of Henry's dog? David. I mean, really, who names their dog David? You know I have a shih tzu named Jonathan. I still maintain that's weird. That's my son you're talking about. Claremont Diaz, welcome to Kensington Palace. Sean Shrivastav, Prince Henry's Aquary. Nice to meet you, Sean. His Aquary? What is an Aquary? Like a personal assistant? So what exactly is an aquarium? Thank you. Uh, handle the horses? I'm His Royal Highness's personal attendant. All right, so I was right. <laughs> You've got to be joking. Alex, it's been seen. Sober. What a rock photographers will now take you. You must stand to the right of His Royal Highness. Is that protocol or just his good side? Both. Switch. Yeah, he is pretty douchey right now. Big smiles for the camera, please. <laughs> My NDA is bigger than yours. I want you to know that. No worry, lifts. <laughs> too, sweetheart. And Alex is what? Just hanging out? Yep. Hey, Sean, you think maybe I can get a little? You're fine. <laughs> Can you two scooch I was gonna say, they're so far apart. Like, no one sits like that. Unless they don't know each other. A little closer. Hmm. Now, that's probably okay. Uh, we hit it off instantly. Yeah, it's like we've known each other all our lives. Right? Mm hmm. Right. Open your mouth. Yeah. There you go. Wonderful. So Alex. Alex has very strong opinions and, and he shares them loudly. <laughs> what three words would I use to describe Henry? White, blonde, and British. <laughs> most of my about Alex is his willingness to admit when he's wrong. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Wonderful trait. Um, <laughs> Does the best freestyle raps. Well, <laughs> oh my God. It's not okay, Remember, it's, it's been like 15 like, minutes and I'm already charmed. I love hanging out with this guy. Oh, how on earth did you end up on the floor in Buckingham Palace? Covered in cake. Actually, it happens more often than you think in the palace. <laughs> the queen time. I mean, when your cake is like. Nine feet tall on a table, like the same right. size as it. Maybe it's not that crazy. Well, his mom is the president of the United States. And my mom is the Duchess of Edinburgh. Which means that his mom. Do you this place a lot? Every couple months. I've been with photographers a Okay. Why do you dislike me? <laughs> Climate conference in Melbourne, first night party. I went to introduce myself to you, and you looked at me like I had headlights. Then you turned to your equerry and said, "Get me out of here." I didn't realize you told me. I could have been nicer. Yes, you could have been. So is that it? <clears throat> Are we friends now? It couldn't have just been the conference. Oh my god, it is. It is. It's an it? How could I possibly? It's only my first foray into the world as a public figure, and 
I was really scared, and you could have helped me, and you didn't. No. Come on. <sighs> Say he's right. You're right. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm sorry. I was a prick to you. I... It's no excuse, but I was a prick to everyone in those days. <clears throat> Why? What happened? My father had died a few months before, and uh -huh. the palace insisted on parading me around. That sucks. <clears throat> I, I didn't say get me out of here. I said I need to get out of here, which is a different thing entirely. Mm. I mean, he's not wrong. Well, now I feel like I need to apologize. Threat neutralized. Some kid brought fireworks for his friend. When you say neutralized... I was saying the other day when I was watching The Summer I Turned Pretty, I think. Somewhere along the lines, as I got older, I'm becoming more and more of a romantic. I never used to be. Imagine having to be followed Besides, by like geez, secret service all the time. Call. It would drive me. I would never leave my house. I mean, I don't leave my house now, and I don't need to have a, an escort or a chaperone. Hey, you mind if I put my journalist hat on for a sec? Only if you actually have a little journalist hat. Is your mother's campaign nervous that Republicans are going to nominate Richards? <sighs> the only Republican who makes us nervous is Abraham Lincoln. And I doubt he's running. You just have to let me use it. Not a chance for girls. Such a tease. Deberíamos de verlos pronto. Off the record, of course. Es mucho, ¿no? Es lo que te hace tan encantador. Eso y las pestañas. <laughs> yeah. I agree about those eyelashes. I should. And the hair. I like long, messy bueno, hair. Turkey inside. So there's this American tradition where the president pardons. A oh, it's Thanksgiving. I don't understand. Don't you have to commit a crime to be pardoned? Don't look too closely at it. I found out that they keep the turkey in a luxury hotel suite the night before the ceremony. That's ridiculous. Is anything more <laughs> wasteful? Oh, that's this conversation. Anyway, <laughs> I convinced my mother's staff to keep it at the White House, and they put the little asshole in my room. Why are you awake? Because some bellin decided to call me at 3 a.m. to talk turkey. What's a bellin? I'm also a world-class insomniac. Mm. I'm in bed with my dog watching Bake Off. But Isn't Bake Off great? Just mean, you don't seem like the kind of person that would name the dog David. He's named after Bowie. Wait, seriously? Then why wouldn't you name him Bowie? It's way cooler. <laughs> I just call him Bowie, then. Too obvious. On the nose, don't you think? Yeah. I surprised you in any way. Nope. <laughs> you are just as ghastly as I imagined. <laughs> oh my god, am I gonna spend this oh whole no, movie no, I grinning? I think Good I might. Good night. Oh. I mean, it was 
nice of you to not spend taxpayer money on a hotel for a turkey, but I mean, you did bring this on yourself. <laughs> Has anyone in the campaign actually read my Texas strategy memo? What Texas strategy memo? Guess answer. not. Alex, this isn't really I wrote a 14 page memo detailing how we can win in Texas next year. I spent weeks working on it. I think it's a viable plan that you should take seriously. I emailed it to senior campaign staff three weeks ago. There are good ideas in here. I really want to help. You do help. I could be doing so much more. Oh. Will you please read my memo? Fine. Thank you. I get the hell out of my office. Uh, has your new buddy, the prince, confirmed for your New Year's party? Zora, did you not just listen to my... Make sure Prince Henry comes to your party. People like him more than they like you. Well, they wouldn't if they knew him. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Is he there? I don't see him anywhere. Most people look bored. Oh, what good is. Did we find him? We found him. This is my best mate, Miss Hollera, you are the most exquisite woman I've ever seen in my life. I would love to procure for you. Well, it is an open bar and a free country, so only the secret service can. I have the drug since Christmas. You gotta catch up. <laughs> oh, this is working out so well for everyone involved. <laughs> What do you do if you're like the prince of England or whatever he is in this party full of Americans that you don't know but you're also kind of famous? Like what are you supposed to do with yourself? That's probably why he should have went and danced because now he's alone with nothing to do and no one to talk to. I mean, to be fair, I don't know any of these songs. I don't think. Yeah, I don't know this. Oh, wait, yes I do. I do know this. It's a lie. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see the pictures from this party that show up places. He's trying. don't know when this happened. When did I become such a romance girl? Oh, 10 seconds to New Year's. Oh. No, well, he's very popular. For a quiet I'm place. A lot of people in there. Did I do something wrong? Oh, he looks so sad. Do you ever wonder who you'd be if you were an anonymous person in the world? That's why it must be so hard to be the two of them. I couldn't live I that kind of life. This. Be a writer. Live in Paris. Hmm, I've never been to Paris. People I date don't interest me, and the people <clears throat> who interest me, I can't date. Oh my god, Henry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Christ, you're as thick as it gets. That happened a lot faster than I anticipated it happening. I'm sorry. You should have said something, anything. I mean, I know you're surprised, but... Oh. 
see what's happening in our Midwestern towns. Empty factories, hollowed out storefronts. That's so sad. Okay, what's going on? So, can you kind of kiss me? I totally, privately called that. Oh, shut up, Nora, you did not. Hey, it's my job to analyze data. And where I'm sitting, Henry is... Kind of gay? More like the first 50 rows of a Gaga concert kind of gay. Mm -hmm. But he's old. Princes aren't allowed to be gay. You should know that. <laughs> anyway, okay, uh, tell me more about this kiss. Did you like it? Yes, but now he won't talk to me. I grabbed my hair in a way that made me understand the difference between rugby and football. <laughs> I'm going to take that as a yes. And it wasn't un I mean, you've been wanting him to dick you down forever. What? Wrong. No, 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 no. Okay. You've been, like, completely obsessed with Henry for years. Do not you you have. You've been long distance text flirting with him all day, every day for months. You yeah, have you spent the entire New Year's party straight up ignoring the who's who of hot young women in order. You were, and uh, he kissed you, and you liked it. So, objectively, what do you think that means? That he won't text me back. I don't. Know. Okay, look, I can wrap my head around being low level into guys, but what I'm really confused about is being into Henry. How many guys have you been with? That's Four. not the point. Two. Once in high school. And once with Miguel Ramos. The political reporter! Shut up! We once made out on that campaign. Drunk, fully naked, in a hot tub. Get the feeling he wants me back in that hot tub, but you know he's a journalist. Right. He's supposed to be my guest as the prime minister's there next month. We can't go real night. Kenny? Kenny. I guess you'll find out. I can't believe he won't text you back. Maybe he won't even come. No, they'll they'll make him come probably. Oh, he's not there. Oh wait, I can't tell. I don't know. Well, we found him. Read your Texas campaign memo. How did you get it? It was super confidential. Anyway, I, I think you can tell Oh, he showed up! He showed up! No, I, I got Miguel, you're great, but we got other people to see. Oh my god, he's so overthinking it. I know. I owe you an explanation. My behavior was appalling. Shut up, stop talking. Like, this feels like it should be the end of a movie, but this movie is not even half over yet. <laughs> Pretend to look for books. So he's still yes, Prime Minister. Henry and I are much happier against walls. <laughs> oh my god. Hopefully we'll get through tonight without any more scandals from these two. Well, that that's unlikely. Mm -hmm. Stay at least 500 feet away from me for the rest of the night. So Midnight, you're going to come to my room on the second floor of the residence where I'm going to do some very bad things to you. Sounds like a great plan. You're late. <laughs> to be clear, this change is not in between us. I was about to say the same thing. You and it's impossible. <laughs> what would it not change? The fact that they still hate each other? Is that what he means? Play a scene. Melbourne climate conference. First night party. I feel like a runner, man. 
<clears throat> What's with the key? I mean, we're really focusing on it here. What's that? The key to my family's house in Austin. I started wearing it when I moved here. Why is he still so dressed? I think I've ever owned a key in my entire life. Because he's never been alone? He's a locked door and you're a princess, folks. Well, just to put it out there. <clears throat> I guess you could say I'm... Bisexual. Why was that so difficult? Yeah. Noted. <laughs> uh, just to put it out there. I am as gay as a maple. <laughs> Are they known for their homosexual tendencies? Oh, oh God, yes. Notorious. <laughs> Notorious. All right, so now what? I wouldn't mind doing this again. Me neither. But? We just have to keep it very... Casual of course. Oh, obviously. <laughs> the press and all. I just can't afford you to fall in love with me. Oh, okay, oh, oh, oh. no, that's yeah. not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your it's your royal highness. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that. I should probably get going. So no, I was you. thinking. No, you can. You should actually. <laughs> Please. You first. Charity Polo Mansion wins the next month that my man Percy's foundation organizes. I, um. I was wondering if you might want to be my guest. Oh. I don't know anything about uh, polo, but sure. I don't know how to play polo. I suppose that will be all right, seeing as you won't be playing. <laughs> I will. You'll be watching on the sidelines. Great. <laughs> That's probably safer for everyone. Yeah, agreed. How did he get away? Doesn't he have, like, British Secret Service following him around? Okay, I think what I said originally was true. I'm just going to grin this entire movie. I really am. Don't really like your outfit. But maybe that's what you have to wear to polo. I guess that must be him. Four. Not books. Book singular. Yeah, I could eat. I feel like they were a little bit more antagonistic in the book. But they was more time, I'm sure. Oh, this is pretty. There's something I've been dying to ask you. Yeah? Which are the famous boys of Aishai? There's two things I've been dying to ask you. <laughs> is Henry George Edward James Hanover Stuart Fox. And I thought Alexander Gabriel Claremont Diaz was a mouthful. He is. <laughs> and we can all see why this reads like Does anyone fanfic. Does family know about you? My sister B is the only one I've told. His Majesty. See, he looks so much better in this outfit. He sat me down on my 18th birthday and told me not to let any selfish desires I might be harboring reflect poorly on the crowd. That is some bullshit. Yeah. 
But reality, it's my life. unfortunately. Mean you have... I was four years old when I realized that everyone in my country knew my name, but I would never know theirs. It's so rough for like a child. Prince Henry belongs to Britain. It's rough now as an adult, but could you imagine it Henry as a Fox child? Can you ever belong to someone else? Like me. Belong to me. Not even momentarily. Oh, that's so sad. You could have just been shaking hands. Oh, what a sad way to have to live. But, I mean, it's the reality for a lot of people. I think we should make love tonight. Oh. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> You don't seem down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seems this is make love anymore. Awkward. You, like, listen to Lana Del Rey when we do it. Right. <laughs> right. Who's gonna do what? Because I'm. I've never. Okay. I'm so not playing this school right now. <laughs> I went to an English boarding school, dear. Trust me, you're in good hands. <laughs> They're so happy. I can't imagine having to be topless or like partially nude in front of however many people are watching this. Like, this is part of why I don't think I could ever be an actress. A, also because I s I'm sure I would suck. I have no interest in it. And I don't like to be the center of attention, but I would be so uncomfortable. Like, if doing this was my job. So they're in Paris right now, I think. So they don't have any, like, I'd say there's no chance of anyone from their families walking in on them, but they both probably got Secret Service around somewhere. So, somebody must be knowing about this. I can't believe how wrong I was about you. Most people are. Maybe you should apologize. Well, I think he seems okay with it. with that ring. I keep trying to read it and see if it says something, but I don't know. This is a very long scene. Not that I'm not happy for them, but Is there any part of you that wishes you went the son of a president? <laughs> a big part, like, I think. I actually wish I could help more. It's gonna be a tough campaign. You really do love it, don't you? To devote your life to helping others. To know that what you do has a meaningful impact on people's lives. Unfortunately, nice work. most politics are not like that. Maybe local politics, but not at the level you're Is there any part of you that playing at. I've been given a chance to be someone in the world that my father didn't see when he was growing up. You can't know what that means. I'm learning. Dude, how much must they have racked up in like frequent flyer miles here? Did you tell Miguel Ramos that we had a plan to flip Texas? What? No. 16 tweets today playing an active role in the campaign's new Texas strategy. I was unaware my campaign had a new Texas strategy. Can you please tell me what it is? If your campaign had read my memo, you'd know. All I said to Miguel is that Texas is competitive and we intend to win it. I didn't think you'd write an article well, about it. You do have a Texas strategy, you just won't implement it. Why aren't you registering? Why aren't you fighting for your home state, Ma? I am fighting for my administration and for the people who can't afford to have Jeffrey Richards become president. And I will not be the 
You're being idealistic when I need you to be realistic. What is wrong it's with being idealistic? To be realistic. Not need a lecture from you about idealism. I was 28 when I was elected. They need me to be realistic so they can be idealistic. If you don't understand that. He just wants to help. Weren't you there for the conversation? What? You were 27, not 28 when you won your first election. Ask any of the women who work for you. They'll be able to tell you that. What's the deal with this campaign memo? I read your memo. Good work. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. I'm sending you to Texas. You'll work 18 hour days and you'll love every minute of it. So what do you say? When do I start? It's hard to put into words how exciting it is to be back here working to get my mom reelected. The energy here is electric and I think we can make a real difference. The only thing that would make it even better is I'm very big on idealism. I don't know if you picked up on that. But should I also tell you that when we're upon your body comes back to me in my dreams? I can feel your skin against mine, and it makes every bone in my body ache. Oh my god, if the Texans... Seriously. If the I'm Texans find out that he's bisexual, they're not going to vote for his mom. In my inbox, corrupting my mind and I mean, Austin probably inbox. won't have a problem with but, it, but you know, other parts you. will. So don't encourage me. I'll behave. <sighs> By the way, we call them trousers, not pants, dear. But in this case, both seem to apply. Also, from all the photos you're posting, really makes me want to visit. Yes, I was just thinking that I want you to come and see it one day. Oh, there's so much that I want to show you. I want to see your mouth covered in barbecue sauce. <laughs> and then I want to make it off. Wait, don't they have napkins in Texas? Here. I wish I could. It's becoming increasingly difficult attending these mindless ribbon cuttings while you're out there changing the world. I thought he wasn't allowed to talk to the press. Sensibility. It isn't what we say. But I feel like <laughs> what you're doing is amazing. Me too. Or Alex Claremont Diaz is addressing the crowd. Let's listen. I can't believe they got all these MSNBC anchors. She has passed down to me. Her vision for America has you at the center. Your hopes, your values, your future. Uh oh. Great speech. It's you. you. Really good up there. Thanks. You know, we're both staying at this hotel tonight. Yeah, well, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Tell me something. For a multitude Did of reasons. Do you believe that we're ever hooking up again? Well, I don't anymore. <laughs> is there a problem between us, Abby? Right? Is that you're an asshole? Feel free to use that quote. Let us know if Jake's covered on. We need to get up to my room right now. Hmm. Shut the door. Okay. You don't want Miguel anywhere near this. Oh no, this is gonna be terrible for Texas. Have you ever cooked for yourself? What is he eating? A jar of olives? Oh no, that's ice cream. I've got tears in my eyes still. Do you vote? What's your favorite movie? In the mood for love. I've never heard of it. <laughs> it is only the swooniest movie of all time. I've never so even heard of it. Word. Yes, of course it is. Of course it is. The most swoon-worthy. Have you read your heart broken? Oh, no, you made him sad. The day my dad died. That was a rough day for me, too. Uh-oh. Alex Claremont Diaz, it's almost seven. Oh, shit. Is there someone in there? <laughs> I come in. Hey, oh. you mind? Come on. Where is she? Zora, no one is here. Oh, really? Well, that no one. Where is she? What are you doing? Oh, no, no, no. You hook up with some rando the night before your mother's acceptance speech. You don't have her sign an NDA of that, I'm certain. And then you let her bring her phone in here. That where that where the, the hell did he go? Oh. Good morning. <laughs> Sorry. <Zara? laughs> Please tell me what to do. Oh, jeez. Why is she so freaked out about it?
about this. Okay. And who knows about this? Literally no one but you. I have a secret service. I'm Posse. Right, and Nora. Oh, and I told my sister. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she was really happy. Oh, I can't <laughs> You're asking me not to tell your mommy on well, you? I haven't told her yet. Oh, gee, kid. Who would have thought but you're the one who decided to put your dick into the air to the British throne? Well, technically, I'm the spare. Not talking to you, sir. <laughs> would it make any difference if I told you not to see him again? No. Every time I see you, it takes another year off of my life. All right. <laughs> As for you, little Lord Fopleroy, you get your ass back to Maryland, England right now. I'm going to chew on a goddamn crumpet by sunset, and if anyone sees you leave this hotel, I will Brexit your head from your body. Your Royal Highness. <laughs> Could you imagine you spend your whole life trying to get into politics and this is your job? Keeping the president's son away from his boyfriends? Do you have a few minutes? Sure, darling. Is he going to tell her? I've met someone. Huh. Is that all? Honey, that's great. Well, why would that be? She's not a Republican, is she? No. <laughs> that's not quite it. She's also a he, and he happens to be Henry. I can't believe he just told her that so soon in this movie. Yeah. I feel like there's still a lot of movie left to go. We're gonna need some pizza. So are you, are you gay? Can I give you some advice? Please. Yeah, of course. You need to figure out if you feel forever about him before you take this any further. A relationship like this will define your life. We didn't go over this particular type of partnering when we had the talk, which is on me for making assumptions. I just want to make sure you know you need to wear a condom if you're having anal intercourse. I mean, putting you on Chewbacca and it, he's and a grown you man. You need the HP. I vaccine. think he can figure this out. I love you. I love you too. That went really, really well. Dear Henry, my parents bought a vacation house after my mother's book was published. I'm headed there to chill over Labor Day weekend with my dad and Nora. My dad suggested that I invite you. Sister Mary Mercy. <laughs> what is this music? It's so not the vibe. It's great to see you again, sir. What's with the sir? Please call me the Congress. Oh, well, in that case, you can call me a Royal Highness. <laughs> Who's ready to party? That was the book I tried to read. One last stop. I didn't like it. Sorry. No, no, I am definitely not doing karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> what is he thinking? Is he thinking that it is forever now? I mean, what's not to like? He's so happy and carefree right now. But they're also like 20 years old. Who's Who knows what forever looks like at that point? Are you still sleeping? We had karaoke last night. Plus, half a dozen tequila shots. <laughs> it's tougher than he looks. So you like him? What's not to like? That's what I just I said. Sure if you need to have like a Catholic moment about it. You are, after all, talking to the patron saint of gender-neutral bathrooms in Austin, you little shit. Mm -hmm. Your mom and I were a stupid idea, too. We were just babies when we had you. Nobody thought we'd make it. Sometimes you just gotta jump. I'm not gonna cry again, am I? <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, 
This is literally just like wish fulfillment come to life. Everything is just so delightful right now. And I think there's only like maybe half an hour or so left, so we're running out of time to have any like drama, which would be I'm great. Thinking. I've been thinking about how my life is going to be a lot different after the election. Next summer, we could come back here for like a couple weeks. We could be naked. So he's thinking next we summer. Austin what are you fans, thinking? It wouldn't even matter if anyone sees us. Mm, it would matter to Henry, I guess, because he did not like that. Remember, you weren't supposed to fall in love with him. I never felt this way about anyone. Well, here comes the the drama I was worried about. <clears throat> Use your words, Henry. Come on. It's like there's a rope attached to my chest and it keeps pulling me towards you. Oh, Henry, you're gonna break my heart, aren't you? I feel so right. I can't believe he just keeps talking and not. Like, he's not un unnerved about the fact that Henry's not responding. Oh, Alex, I'm so sorry. I think he loves you too. He's just like scared and stuff. So sad. You're not gonna leave a note or anything? Maybe you left a note. I spoke too soon. I'm so stupid. I should know better. I'm so sad. I ended things with Alex. Oh. I'm so sorry. Why? I mean, I know why, mostly, but... I felt myself getting too close. I mean, I didn't want to break his heart. What's about your heart? And I'm pretty sure you did break his heart. It's all so silly, isn't it? The idea of royalty in the 21st century, it's, it's so antiquated. Yeah. At least you'll never be king. <laughs> Do you love him? Because I'm asking. And yes. You know you do. And I know that you didn't leave, you didn't break up with him because you didn't want to be with him. And that's him. keep it together you are answering my texts or taking in my calls I can't wait it out I'm going crazy here mm. well you have air miles go to London yes hurry go now Take your man. yes what if you won't see me oh then we'll cry together but you won't know unless you go. At least you'll have your answer. I was talking earlier about frequent flyer miles. Now's the time to use them. Sir, Mr. Claremont Diaz is at the gate. He insists on seeing you. Can we please talk? What's going on, Henry? A week ago, we were happy, and then you disappear without saying a word? I have done nothing but explain myself to you this past year. I don't know what more you want me to say, and I don't appreciate you, but do you honestly think this is easy for me? I mean, how would he know? You won't talk to me. All I know is I'm the one here willing to fight for us. Because it costs you nothing! I because the man I love has vanished from my life without an explanation. I'd storm a fucking <laughs> castle to look you in the eye and tell you that I love you, knowing that you wouldn't say it back. So no, Henry. In fact, this is costing me everything. And if this is over, I at least deserve. I'm 
don't like you. I can't afford to be reckless. I wasn't raised by a loving, supportive family like you were. My life is the crown, and yours is politics, and I will not trade one prison for another. I can love you, and want you, and, and still not want that life. It doesn't make me a liar. No, it doesn't. A man with some infinitesimal shred of self-preservation, and you don't get to come in here and call me a coward for it. He just wants coward. you to talk to him. He's not denying any of that to be true. We'll figure out a way to love each other on our own terms. No one else's. That is simply not possible, and you know it. I don't know it. I'll leave. And you can live in your tower and protect your heart for the rest of your life, and nothing will ever happen to you. Come on. Nothing will ever happen to you. Come on, Henry. Listen. So if you want me to go, you have to tell me to leave. Please. Don't make me. Because I would never leave this room if I didn't think there was any hope of holding on to the happiness that I found with you. So tell me to go, Henry. Don't do it, Henry. And I promise I will walk out that door and trouble you no longer. I believe him, but don't, 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 don't do it. Wait. No. There's something I want you to see. Okay. I really was afraid he was just gonna lock him out and be like, now you, now you're gone. What is this? A museum? My father used to bring me here. Early in the morning before the museum opened. Is this a voiceover? At night. No one else is around to talk at you. Mm, what a Try nice feeling. I never think too much about the fact that like when, I was young, uh, when my husband and I want to go out, we just do. Taking somebody I loved here. He loved it as much as I did. I dance. I air amidst all these statues. You're probably gonna have to teach him how to ballroom dance, though. He probably doesn't know how. Just a dark fluorescent fantasy. I'm literally gonna cry again. When did I turn into this person? <laughs> so sad if this is like his way of saying goodbye and he's not actually gonna stay here in this relationship with him oh Alex looks so happy and I promise I will try and be brave for us because when I write the history of my life I want to include you I want that for you too. Oh, I don't want something bad to happen now and ruin that great night that they just had. Damn it, Dana. Oh, are we finally going to get an explanation for that ring? Sun ran this morning. And how many of I know? All of them. 
Oh no, we were finally in a good place. I'm afraid you can't, sir. I've taken the liberty of confiscating your phone. You can't do this. Orders from the palace, sir. No, I give the orders in this palace. These orders are from Buckingham Palace, sir. C -c Can we at least get a message to him? Um, uh, t t to the White House. I've tried my contacts within the White House. There's no luck. Details emerge about Alex Claremont-Diaz's relationship with the prince. The White House is trying to stay on message. This is obviously a critical... Now we have Miguel Ramos of Politico, who was the first American journalist... Oh, to fuck him. him. ...and who has written extensively about it. He isn't at all a private citizen. He's playing an active role in his mother's campaign. These emails were posted to Reddit at 11.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday night. And your first article was published. How did you have time to read nearly 72 emails, write an article, and publish it all within two and a half hours? I think you, you know, know exactly what she's getting at. Did you have advanced knowledge that this leak was going to happen? <sighs> Heather and I have been together since the beginning of this year. As many of you have already read, we've struggled. And while neither of us is naive about what it means to be public figures, we never imagined our most private and intimate thoughts, fears, and truths. How are you going to handle this, Henry? What was taken from us this week was our right to determine for ourselves how and when we should share our relationship and queer identities with the world. The truth is, every queer person has the right to come out on their own terms and on their own timeline. They also have the right to choose not to come out at all. The force conform. This isn't about shame. This is about privacy. Come on. And the fundamental right of self-determination. This is a really great speech. But there's another truth. I fell in love with a person who happens to be a man, and that man happens to be a prince. He has captured me. I love his royal highness. Prince Henry George, Edward James, Hanover Stewart Fox. It's a really, really great speech. Great job. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Is it still possible I've crossed my mom in the election? Yes. <clears throat> but it's also possible that you just won her the election. We'll find out next week. I hope Henry was watching. I hope he was too. Sean Trevastava, this is Zara Bankston. Look, I know we said we'd only use these phones in an emergency. Well, <laughs> welcome to that emergency. I've got the first son in my office. But I want you to march your skinny, perfect ass over to the prince, hand him your phone, or so help me God, you will never see me naked again. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm lousy at well. You might be lousy at keeping secrets, kiddo, but I'm not. Zara, I could kiss you. Touch me and die. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could just go to America and stay there. It feels like everyone hates me. Hey, they still love you. They love the idea of me. Alex loves you? Do you need to be loved by everyone? That's the other question. Does it matter? Your speech was beautiful. It really was. It made me very proud to be your boyfriend. I'm always proud of you. Excuse me, sir. The king wishes to see you. 
both of you. The less you say, the better it'll be for you. Shut up. I do not need your advice for the this will continue. Stephen Fry. Come on! Come out with it! You're killing me with the suspense! Oh my god. Just talk. During the Second World War, what about this? Services initiated wholesale fabrications about prominent people. Oh no. To You're going to pretend that this didn't happen? Do you suppose that might explain these unseemly reports? No. No, come on, Henry. It's all true, Grandpa. Okay. Nevertheless, they're the truth. It's a truth from which I am determined to protect you. But I don't I want, want to be protected. I want your support. It is not your... And I deserve to be happy. Henry, no one is suggesting that you don't deserve to be happy. You it certainly are. Alex and I love each other deeply. You've no doubt... That your love is genuine. However, occasionally vulgar, but genuine. <laughs> your primary responsibility is not your heart. Why to not? Your country. But he's not even a, and a royal person. The traditional royal image he's... is out of the question. Why this is, is it out of the question? The dumbest it's thing I've ever heard. Idea. I guess Henry is just going to move to America. Why must we maintain a traditional royal image? Because, because, because the nation simply will not accept a prince who is homosexual. But he's never going to be king. Oh my god, is the whole country? You're all to go home immediately and, and await further instructions. Are they here to be supportive? Waiting to take you to Cape oh my god, Henry, look at this. Henry B. Apparently there are crowds forming in Manchester, Sheffield, Birmingham, Cardiff, Edinburgh, and Liverpool. <sighs> what number does this make now? I will no longer be the prince of shame <laughs> and of secrets. You are the people's prince! This is nuts. <laughs> you can't go out there. You can't stop me. Grandpa, tell them that they can't go out. Are you sure this is what you want? There is no turning back. I don't you want to, to turn back. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> I think that's up for debate. Come on, go outside and see your people. If only how this works again for the yeah. team, right? <laughs> they teach at their fancy. Whoever wins Texas is gonna win the White House. Hey, Mom. Hey, hon. You may remember that it was her son, Alex Claremont Diaz, mm -hmm. who was a driving force in turning her campaign's focus to Texas. I remember. To Don't worry, Rachel. I remember. I think my mom's working on a concession speech. Hard. I mean, you I really did. Bad. You couldn't have done anything more. You still have enough spare time. I don't think. It's got color in it. Yellow roses. <laughs> I read it as a thing in Texas. I had. I'm so grateful you're here. Shut down. Tell that to the transgender high school.
first time. And your voice is blended in with the voices of millions of Americans just like you. Why don't I have a tissue right now? <laughs> totally gonna have to redo my makeup after this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I cannot believe how much that movie made me absolutely cry. And I'm so sorry that I keep sniffling, but I don't, I did not anticipate this, so I have no tissues. Um, but I will, in the future, remember this for um, future YA stories, whatever. The point is, this movie, I'm literally sopping wet. This movie was so incredibly delightful. I mean... It was kind of everything I wanted it to be. It was funny and romantic and sad and optimistic and inspirational. And it was honestly kind of exactly what I wanted it to be. Um, I was a little concerned at, at a point that um, we were not going to have any drama and it was just going to be like front to back wish fulfillment. And in all honesty, I kind of would have been okay with that if I'm being honest because it was so enjoyable to watch, which I think is partly why I was thinking about it in terms of um, fanfic because it is just mostly that. But it was so enjoyable and so, it made me so happy. I could not stop smiling for like the first hour and I was kind of like, okay, this is what this is. I'm in. I'm happy to do it. I want to watch it. Let me have all of the happiness. And then the drama happened. And it was fairly short-lived, thankfully. But, my God, what a beautiful romance. I mean, I was such a fan. Again, like I said, it wasn't like... There wasn't a lot of drama. There wasn't a lot of... It was just a happy, <laughs> mostly, romance. And I I have a problem. Like, there's so much, like, drama for the sake of drama in shows and movies. It feels like that we never get enough time watching our characters actually be happy. And I know that that's supposed to be, like boring, I guess, but it makes me feel like like they're missing something. Like there's so much will they, won't they that you never get to actually enjoy the characters when they get to be happy and together because you know that as soon as everything is good, something terrible is going to happen. And yes, that happened in this movie, but it wasn't like the main focus most of this movie was getting to actually enjoy the characters um, being together and watching them just be adorable and have a beautiful relationship and fall in love and it was absolutely beautiful and fun to watch and there were parts that I kind of remembered from the book um, but generally a, I didn't remember much from the book, and B, I didn't really care that it was from a book. Um, when I was watching The Summer I Turned Pretty, in my head I was constantly sort of comparing it to the books. Now, I have read 
the summer I turned pretty much more recently than I read red, white, and royal blue. So that maybe had something to do with it. However, it was not that far into this movie before I forgot that I was watching a movie based on a book. It was just, I was so engrossed and so involved and so invested in these characters that I completely forgot that I was not supposed to be, but in my brain I was supposed to be comparing it to this book. I forgot completely that it was even a thing because I loved it so much. And yes, I'm sure it had its problems and I'm sure there are a ton of people who were like, oh, it's just you know, glossing over stuff and wish fulfillment and blah, blah, blah. And you know what? Maybe that's true. But who cares? Isn't the point to entertain and get some escapism and just to, it was such, says the girl who cried four times, such an enjoyable way to spend two hours. And I want every romance to be like this one. Um... What else do I want to say? Um, I don't know what else I want to say. I'm too busy trying, like, not to have my nose <laughs> run all over my face. Um, I don't know. And I have no idea if people liked this. I have no idea if it was well-reviewed. I have no idea if people are going to be like, um, if I'm going to, when I finish this video and I Google it, it's going to have like a Rotten Tomatoes of like 14. And I have no idea. But if it does, fuck them. Who cares? I liked it. And that's all that really matters, right? And like I had also said, somehow in my elder years, I have become much more romantic than I ever was before. And why can't, all of the romance be like this? Why can't it make your heart happy? And why can't it make you proud to watch people declare how much they love each other? I don't know. But I want to do it again. And I'm really hoping that whatever movie I pick next will be like that. Although I don't think it will because I'm sort of thinking that the next one is probably going to be uh, what's the, the Fault in Our Stars? Because it is a movie that I have not seen and it is a movie that I, I've read the book and I think it's fairly popular and a lot of people watched it. But again, I have no idea if they liked it. Um, but that third one is really up for grabs. So maybe I'll throw out a poll on, um, what is that thing called? Patreon. But listen, it has been over two hours now that we've been here. And I'm sure you're tired of listening to me talk. And I'm sure you're tired of watching me cry. So, I am going to go. I'm going to clean myself up. I'm going to have some lunch. And it is Friday, so maybe I will have a cocktail. Um, actually, I know I will because I'm going to video some drunk rewatches later on. But I, I digress. This was great. I totally enjoyed it. I had an excellent time. I really hope you did too. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.